Hi guys, welcome to another Alice lesson. Now in this lesson we are going to go over on how to use the score as a variable or um, to see how the score can be used as a variable. Alright, so let's add an object. Alright, so any object is fine. Go to animals. I'm going to go add... What do you this one? I'm going to use the husky this time. I didn't use that one. That's a bit too small. Let's make it bigger. Alright. No problem. Move this up a bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to methods, turn to face, the camera. Perfect. Alright, so now what I want to show you guys is that when the, um, when you click on the husky, the score will go up. So let's add text here, actually. Let's go add text real quick. I'm going to add text that will demonstrate our score. Any text is fine because the text is going to change eventually. So any text is fine. Let's go methods, turn to face the camera. All right, perfect. And then we'll move this up. All right, and now let's actually create a new event because we can't create an if statement where if the mouse is clicked, do this because it's already created in the events area. So when the mouse is clicked on something, let's do the husky, husky, entire husky, do my first method, all right? And what you can do is you can have the wolf or husky go side to side and then you try to click it, you know, but right now it's a very quick demonstration. So now let's go create a new variable in the husky this time. Now you see there's already a bunch of pre-made variables and all that, and that's a lot, all right? So there's a lot here, but let's just go create a new variable. All right, we're going to call this score. Let's actually call it score touch. All right, and I encourage you guys to use to type in names without spaces because in the real world programming, you don't get to use spaces. The closest you can get is a is this, seriously, an underscore. And, you know, that doesn't really look good anyway, so, yeah. So let's use a number. We're going to set the default value, some people call it the static value, to zero. Click on OK. And now what we are going to do is we're going to go 3D text. I'm going to drag in the text right here. Any text is fine because it's going to change. Or I just remember that. Duration to zero seconds. Or 3D text set text to default string. All right, so let's go drag this in to default string. But we can't do anything. Why can't we? Because the variable isn't recognized as a string. Because everything you have, whether it's a number, object, boolean, it has to be converted to a string so that the computer understands. And same thing in the real world programming, you have to convert things to a string. So, we go to string, we go to the world, functions, string, and do, click on, drag in, what as a string. Alright, so drag in this yellow box. Alright, and now, there should be a variable here, called score touch, but there isn't. Why? because we created the variable under the husky so we have to go to the husky and then we have to go all the way here and then there's the variable and now when we see here we start nothing happens i don't see anything happening why is it the score going up well there's no code here that says the score to go up all right so we, what we need to do is go on the husky again properties and then we drag in a score touch and then you see you can set the value or increment or decrement we want it to increment by one all right and now we're going to do this in a do together so we'll do that here do that there and now let's go see this zero seconds all right no problem we can do that now we'll see what happens touch one two three four and then you can click it as many times as you want and you can see that I've clicked it 19 times. So yeah, that's how you can use variables as a score. It's a very simple concept, but you could go a bit more advanced on this. And there's a lot more options. Alright? So that's basically how, so basically you learn on how to have the user input something, in this case click on something, and uh, change the variable. In this case, we change the score variable under Husky. And I have to say, it's pretty fun. 
So yeah. And by the way, if you find this a bit laggy, by the way, like if it was a bit slow, then you probably set the duration for 3D set text to 1. You probably need to change it to 0, because watch what happens. 1, 2, you see it's a bit laggy. See, it's laggy. So that's why you have to always remember to set that, oh, sorry, set that to 0. And it will work. Alright, so that's all for that. Hope this helped you guys a lot. In the next lesson, we're going to uh, work on this a bit more. And we're going to actually um, have the user type something. And then for the program to display that. So, that's all for now. Hope this helped you guys a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Or shoot me a PM. I'll try my best to answer. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my blog. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.